Good morning. We want to thank each of you for joining the New Hope Baptist Church Children's Ministry Worship Experience. We pray something will be said or done to inspire your child this week. Hi, everybody. I'm Snooker Diddle. What's everybody celebrating today? Cookie? Huh? 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 Cookie? We're celebrating Christmas. Christmas? What? Is, isn't that the celebration of Santa Claus? No! It's the celebration of Jesus' birth. See, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, lying in a manger. Because there was no room for him anywhere else. Everybody sang, Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, 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 so holy, meek and mild. New life, new hope. To all that it brings, listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. Jesus, 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 oh, what a wonderful job, Jesus. Jesus, so holy, meek and mild, new life, new hope, and all that it brings. Listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 and 47. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in, in God my Savior. Everybody, let's bow our heads. God is good. Thank you for this day. Hopefully this corona will die. Hopefully my family won't die. Hopefully my Gigi and my family won't die. Amen. All righty. So I want to ask you about, have you ever wondered about anything, Callie, Callahan? And Deontay Mitchell. So, I want to do something today. Put your hand into this bag and just tell me what you feel. Uh. Ah, don't take it out. Don't take it out. Just put your hand in there. What do you think you felt? I think it's a toy. Hmm, okay, we'll see. Deontay? I just want to. It's what? A football. You think it's a football? All right. How did you feel putting your hand into a sack that you couldn't see into? Scared. Kind of scary because you didn't know what your hand was going to be on. You know it's going to be something yucky or whatever. I thought that it was going to be some yucky slime. Oh, you thought it was going to be yucky slime. Okay. Well, we didn't have yucky slime. But slime. You do? Okay. So what I want to do. Hey. I'm so glad you're here. You made it just in time. Do you see over there? That's Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Jesus is the tiny baby. I know a baby maybe doesn't seem like a big deal, but trust me, this baby is the biggest deal. How do I know? I'll show you. Let's follow that star to the field where my friends and I were hanging out earlier tonight. So earlier, my friends and I were hanging out in this field taking care of our sheep when suddenly, surprise, an angel appeared. <laughs> Whoa! The angel told us, don't be afraid, we come with great news for everyone. The angel told us the savior of the world was here and that he was nearby. Obviously, my friends and I wanted to know where to find this king who had been born. If you knew a king was nearby, wouldn't you want to meet him too? The angel said, here's a hint, 
you'll find him wrapped up like a little baby sleeping in a manger. At that moment, more angels joined in with the first and began to sing, Glory to God in the highest! That's when we knew we had to go find this baby who had been born. The Son of God was here and it was our job to find him. We ran to meet the Messiah and when we got to the stable, we dropped to our knees to worship Jesus. At first, it felt strange to kneel down and worship a baby. But my friends and I could see that Jesus was worthy of our praise. We trusted God's plan that Jesus would grow up to do incredible things. We wanted to celebrate that Jesus was born. We can worship Jesus. Now, I want to read another scripture to you, Luke 4, 5 through 8. It says, The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all this authority and splendor. It has been given to me, and I will give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will be yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. <clears throat> so, what does that tell you? You can't have any other God before him. That's right. That means you can't play that video game 24 hours a day, be on that phone <clears throat> all the time, okay? Sometimes I got to call somebody. I know. Every once in a while you can call somebody, but you don't call it people all day long, do you? No. Okay, very good. There are many things that compete for our attention. Sometimes we spend all our time doing other things then we forget about Jesus, okay? No matter how shiny and cool other things may appear, our worship should only go to Jesus. That means letting our love for Jesus guide us in the ways we behave, in the ways we behave, in the ways we talk, mm -hmm, and spend our time. What does that mean? We have to have some special time for the Lord, don't we? For Jesus. I know you have to be in school eight hours a day on the computer. And when you get off of that, you probably go right, but you rest up a moment, then you go right back to the computer, don't you? No, I don't do that. Okay. I just stay up. Oh, you just stay up. Mm hmm because I want to get up early. Okay. So, what else are you doing? Think about it now. In your day. How much time are you giving to Jesus? Is it just minutes? Is it hours? No. It's minutes. Oh, you're giving minutes? Oh, my goodness. No hours. Okay, if you're doing minutes, I need to increase it to hours. I'm just going to be counting. To okay, see. so in everything that I do throughout the day, I should be glorifying Jesus, okay? Uh -huh. All right, then. Thank you. Jesus came to earth for us. That's super worthy of our worship, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's super worthy. Now, let's reflect on a gift that keeps giving. What's a gift that keeps giving? To a girl. To a girl. What do you think a gift would be to a girl that keeps on giving? Um, a whale. A what? A whale. What's that? I can't a dog. Oh, a dog. Okay. That, that would be to a girl. Love. Love is a gift that keeps on giving. Very good. Hugs. What? Hugs. Hug, hug, oh, yeah. Hugs. Hugs are great. We love hugs. All right, I want you to look at this list. Now, you don't have to write on it. I'll write for you, Callie, and Dion take and write for himself. But look at your list. It says, Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. All the good things God has given you. What good things has God given you, Callie? Mm -hmm. You said toys. I know, you love toys. So he's giving you toys. Um, LOL. 
He'd give me a dolls, okay. He gave you uh, not having a broke foot, but it's just fractured. Like Joe Biden. Oh, oh you just like Joe Biden. You got a fractured foot, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. You know, you are just lovely. And then the other part says all the good people God has placed in your life. All right. Tell me of some good people that God has put in your life. Well, my Gigi. My, my Gigi. My auntie. Your auntie. And my daddy. Your daddy. Okay. And my mom. Okay. Because you always take me over to my friend's house. Okay. But not drop me off. All right. But not drop you off. Okay, then. That's good. She stay there. Well, I don't blame you. In case I fall on the hoverboard. Okay, then. What are you doing on the hoverboard? All righty. So those are things that keep on giving. All right. Now, Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. I want you to remember these things, not just today, not just tonight, not tomorrow, but remember. The whole, the whole time? Every time. you got to remember this every day. Every day. You can't forget it now. I want you to remember it every day. I'm going to ask you each time I see you. Okay? When at the mailbox. When I see you at the mailbox, I'm going to ask you that. That's right. And you're going to have to remember that. Deontay too? Yeah, I'll see you, Deontay. He always gets the mail. No, you always get it. So, so I'm going to be looking for you. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to celebrate something here. It said the angels appear to the shepherds. We know that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he told they and they and they were invited to go see the birth of the new king. What did they follow to find out where Jesus the was? Oh, they followed the star. Can you imagine being on your post, watching your sheep at night? Count them. Yeah, you have to count them every time. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to show you some. And just imagine, of all the stars in the sky, there's one that shines super, super bright. A moon. No, a star. And then the angel comes down and tells like you. Light, yes. And the angel tells you that if you follow that star, you will be seeing a newborn king. Now, what do you think about that? I follow the star. I follow the star. You got to color it. I'm going to let you color it, mm -hmm, but not right now. So, would you be super excited? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To follow that star. That to follow that star, that's right. Uh-huh. Would be great. Now, what do you think? About the news the angels brought to the shepherds. Was that really good news? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you thought of oh, that have been good news at that particular time? Yes. How did the wise men know about Jesus? Who told the wise men about Jesus? What's the wise the angels. The angels came and told the wise men about Jesus. And he also told them to follow the star. What did Herod tell the wise men? You go follow the star when you see him report back to me. That's right. Herod wanted to know where the baby was. Now, the wise men also took what? The gifts. They took gifts. How? Oh. To the what? To, to the, the baby. baby. For him being born. They didn't take them home with them. No. They wanted to share what they had. Sharing is part of loving. Okay? okay. We can't keep it all to ourselves, Miss Callie. We have to share it. All righty. Now I want you to listen to this. It says, uh, well, one of my pants, I'm sure 
Well, we're going to work on that, friend, because she needs to start sharing. He said, it's a boy. Well, we're going to teach him how to share. Because th listen at this. It says, and uh, I want you to listen to this because I want you to answer this question. It says, what can we do to worship Jesus in our everyday life? Right. Listen to this. Jesus answered, it is written, worship Jesus. the Lord your God and serve him only. So what are we to do? Praise and worship him. Worship him. Praise and worship God. I'm going to tell you, that means we're going to pray and sing songs to him. We're going to do good things. We're going to treat people nice. That's what that means. Okay? All righty. Uh, how do you, why do you think God chose shepherds and wise men to be the first to they worship Jesus? Did, oh, they told jokes. I don't think so. Do you think they were happy people? Because the shepherds are... They were low. Lowly people. Shepherds were. It wasn't in, you know, you were just a shepherd. You know, that wasn't a whole lot. Like alone. And then the wise men were, you went from the bottom to up here. Heavy. You know, because the wise men were up mm -hmm. on a high pillar. They were right thought to be something special. Right here? So they told the low and they told the high. So that everybody would know. Okay? Now, what are some things that distract us from worshiping Jesus? What gets our attention? Why can't we focus on serving him? Distractions like phones. The phone, okay. Xbox. Xbox, very good. PlayStation 4. Oh, you got all of that? PlayStation 4, all of that takes away. iPhone. Let me ask you something. You mentioned all of those. Well, you can you can I use my Chromebook to worship the Lord? Do you think I can use my Chromebook to worship the Lord? I can. Yes. Yeah. How do you how do you think I can use it? What what can I look up on my Chromebook that will help me worship the Lord? What did I look up on my phone? What every time I went to read scripture, what did I find on my phone? Mm. What did I find on my phone? Mm. What is that? Alpha. The Bible. Bible? Okay, that's I, that's on there. I, so I can use my Chromebook, my phone to worship the Lord. I can also by reading scripture and praying. I can also, because you love to sing, I can find songs on my phone and on my Chromebook oh, that are pleasing to God and listen to those, can't I? Okay, so that's not a bad thing all the time, but if I'm doing just games on it or Facebooking and all of that, you know, that's for a little while. I don't do it all the time. Sometimes, my God. Okay. Time. All right. Now, yes. what's our memory verse? You remember my memory verse? Yes. Yeah, I can't remember it. And it, it, was Luke, it was Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 47. Read and, Mary, and Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirits rejoice to, to God, my Savior. Okay. Did you, you heard that? Now, I want to play a little game with you. Okay. And I'm going to give you something. And I want to, this is your gift. We got to feel it. This is a, no, you don't have to feel it. This, no, I'm not going to make you put your hand in that sack anymore. All right. What I want you to do is to, there is something in your sack. I want you to take it out. Okay. And open it up and put it on your red paper. Okay. This is your gift. This is a gift that you want to give to Jesus. I'm not going to tell you. I want you to open it up and I, find it. You got to take this paper out. Yeah, you got to take the paper out. That's how you find your gift. Turn it around. Okay. All right, what's up? You have to undo the other page. What does this? Come on. All right. Now, this one goes at the top. 
It says memory verse, Luke 1, 46 through 47. Let's all read it together. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Okay? Let me think about that. Hmm? My soul, that means my body, my mind, glorifies the Lord. I want you to remember that now. Okay, I thank you all for uh, working with me today. We're going to take a look at this lesson and see how well we've done. But I want to close out with prayer, and I'm going to pray this time, okay? Okay. Can we bow our heads for me, please? Okay. Dear God, we want to worship you. Help us to focus on you no matter what distractions come our way and to never stop being in wonder about just how good you are. Well, Father, we thank you for the scientists that have developed the vaccine, Father, and help us to be mindful of the vaccine and how good it can be for us and to us. Father, remember those that are shut in, those that are sick, those that are bereaved. Bless all the earth, Father. These and other blessings we ask in that Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be sure to join us each Sunday for an encouraging word where we're building faith and sharing love.